Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So, I've actually been away for the last two weeks. You've probably been watching, hopefully, some of the scheduled videos that have been coming out, but now actually back in game. So I thought we'd hop into a little bit of a siege, and I actually have no clue where I'm going at the moment. Vaguely attempting to find some artillery. Let's just throw those martillatory at the back so they don't get shot by the Scorpio. But yeah, I thought we'd hop into a siege and have a little bit of a catch-up chat. Because, yeah, quite a lot's happened while I've been away. One of the biggest mistakes was typically I'd sorted that video with the Tercios because they got the um, accuracy buff. Got that sorted, released it a week after I'd recorded it, and of course the day I released it, they reworked Tercios. <laughs> Had no idea that was coming. That was slightly annoying. But we will absolutely be revisiting them again now they've had a rework. They've got some sort of um, uh, charge melee ability added to them and they kind of got reworked a little bit. So yeah, they're definitely a unit that we need to revisit for a second time and see how they've been getting on. We've also of course got Imperial Shields, another unit that's recently had a rework. Changed quite a bit about it, a unit that I really want to kind of get around to visiting. I'd also actually like to revisit Palace Guards before too long, really. They're a really meta unit at the moment, um, certainly one I'd like to check out again and have been playing a little bit more recently and playing a little bit in this video. So yeah, they're another one that I'd really like to get around to playing a few more games with. So we've got quite a bit coming up. Also got a few other games, you know, non Conquest Blade games I'm kind of interested in. Um, I think there's a new Holdfast World War One DLC coming out, which actually looks really quite interesting. So we'll probably have a video on that. And then a few other little bits on the horizon that I want to check out. So do hopefully check out those videos as well. But anyway, that's kind of the plan for the next sort of few weeks. Let's get up this siege tower and see if we can do anything on Reginopolis. Um, is it safe to get off here? Yeah, it looks like it. Got a little bit of stuff. Someone to sneakily capture that supply point at the back. Not really anything on the top of the wall defending. The obvious place to go from here is just straight down to the B point. Probably normally some stuff there, and if not, down the corridor around the back. Got some paladins in the corner. Ooh, but they're on their own. This is where I'm going to predict that this is going to go well for us. This is where sort of they're saying attack is the best form of defense. This paladin thinks he's being good by waiting in the corner, but it means I can now get the charge off, and I can get round behind and use my ult on the back of his paladins, knock them all down, brace into them. Yeah, and there we go. Well, they all just died almost instantly. Okay, he's going to be on iron sides for a while. It will end and he will die eventually. Will we get the guilt? Ah, oh, no, not quite. But that's kind of a mistake by that Paladin player was being overly defensive. I know he thinks he's being good by waiting in a corner and using the front of his shield formation, but it just gives me the opportunity to really decide the fight. I can check there's nothing else around and I know one on one I can take him. So really by waiting himself in that corner not being proactive, he really killed himself. Um, okay, well it looks like we've got B points secure. That was quite an easy start to this game. They often defend B a little bit harder than that. Uh, we've got some of these new imp shields. Let's have a go at these. Ooh, pike charge. Yeah. And we'll brace into it. Don't want, do not want to walk into the front of that. I've definitely made that mistake a few times before. We'll go for a bit of a charge ourselves as we get knocked over. Uh, ah, can't even use my keyboard. Wrong button. What's going on? That wasn't, wasn't so, was not so smooth, but uh, we got through them. Most of the units still intact, few, few pretty low on hit points, but we're pretty good. And we've got our brace with them coming just off cooldown now. So we've got a few allied units pushing through the main gate, and realistically we need to be pushing the A point now. So let's just go in, particularly against um, some of these Axe Raiders. Let's go on with the Iron Sides, go on with the brace, deal with the remainder of the Axe Raiders. Nice. Okay, solid start. Are they going to make more of a defense of... Hey, oh, they've got some grey hairs coming down. Let's try and get the charge into them. Problem's going to be... Oh, no. That was not such a good move. Evo got himself killed. Okay. Well, we shouldn't have too long on the respawn. It was a decent start from those palace guards. Kind of sums up a little bit my opinion on them. When you, when you get the nice one-on-one -on -one fights, they do really, really well. But as soon as things get stuck on cooldown a little bit with them, then I kind of struggle a lot more. That's kind of in that situation. Didn't help though getting myself killed by those grey hairs. That was a pretty stupid move. I should have been able to avoid that. But anyway, it looks like a few of them are going to survive and run away, so we may end up calling on them again later. But for now, let's drag out our hounds. 
our little archers and dog combination. These are always a fun little unit to play with. That's another unit that actually we probably need to have a revisit on in a second video. We did a video, um, actually for me, really quickly when they first came out. But yeah, we need to actually have a few more games with them and have them on a second video sooner or later. But for now, let's start to push up. We're just going to be pushing towards C. Looks like there's a few enemies still on the supply point. Well, that's fine. Looks like some archers are shooting down from the wall, which is a bit more of a pain. I tried to go for a cheeky hero kill there, but it didn't happen. Um, okay, well, I don't really want to stand on that point then if they're going to be shooting down. It almost looks like Imperial archers are shooting down here, so probably one I'd rather avoid. Um, yes, just keep them in this corner for now so they don't get too shot up. And then let's have a look what's going on on the C point. They've got some units at the back. I could almost want to pull them in front and just try and use uh, my two ability on those enemy ranged units. Can actually be really effective with these houndsmen. But we have got that back wall down, so if the team is going to start making a push there, then that's kind of a viable option that we could think about using. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of starting to go in. So if we're just going to do that, I'll take the fight. Problem with these houndsmen, I don't know if they're going to do Yeah, the dogs kind of auto-aggressive stuff gets too close. And I really want the dogs just to stay here, and I just want to use the houndsmen really for their archer damage until the fight pans out a bit. Because if the dogs just run into the front of something like a brave palace guard or grey hairs, then I'm really not achieving a great deal at all. But there we go, a few of the dogs survived, most of them got themselves killed. We'll just have to use the archers for what they are. Let's take a step back because we are starting to get hit by a reasonable amount of stuff here. I kind of want to get in with my hero, I, I suppose, but the risk is that, that you get shot by a random ballista. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly certainly the risk. Um, oh, I'm going to leave the archers in the fight because they are picking up kills. The risk is is they obviously get overwhelmed, but with the Trebs going in, we should hold that front line. Go on, get a few extra kills. If the Medau stuff are going to leave though, let's clear them out. Come on, retreat, retreat, retreat. Before you get shot anymore. No, they're dying. Come on, run away. I don't think they can afford to lose any more than 12. I think if they drop down to 11, then that's not going to be able to respawn with them. So they need to, really need to retreat sooner rather than later. There we go. Okay, they got themselves out. Yeah, a little unfortunate we just got killed by that ballista shot there. But I guess I should have seen it at the back. Should have known that was going to happen. Um, what do we respawn with then? Maybe the Outriders? See if we can get round the back into some of that range stuff. And maybe try and cap their supply point at the back. Otherwise, the C point, unless you get it in that initial push, is actually really quite hard to take. Um, yeah, let's go round the back. Hopefully you don't get hit by any of those cannons. Come on out, riders. Speedy McSpeed is required. What have we got? Uh, oh, there's a bit of stuff down there, isn't there? Including a reasonable chunk of range. Looks like there's some Senji down there as well. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that too much. That'll be a very quick end for the Outriders. Particularly when you consider that they're not exactly... Uh, got a lot of units left anyway. A little bit of an optimistic optimistic javelin throw to try and squeeze it through that gap. Didn't really pan out. Oh, picked up a random kill with them. I don't know if there's any ways in from the other way or has it just got stacks of artillery down there? Yeah. Got loads of those uh, firework cannons down there. Which is going to make it difficult. Oh, looks like the team may actually be making a bit more of a push here. Okay, come on then. Let's make our move. The team's going in. Uh, want to avoid them. Let's go for those Kriegs on the left. Oh, we've got the Axe Raiders coming in as well, though. Let's go with the charge. No, it wasn't that effective. Ah, oh, cavalry counter-charging. Can try and get in amongst the Kriegs. Ah, oh, but running into Berserkers. Oh, this has gone terribly. Let's just try and kill some of these Pavis before I die myself. Well, that was fairly short-lived. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, unfortunately, hit those Axe Raiders. Didn't really get my charge off properly. Should probably have gone for a Javelin throw prior. Probably actually just to have done more damage rather than actually just charging them in like that. But oh well, lesson learned. We've still had a few kills so far. We've not done too badly this game. Looks like we're starting to get some pressure on the C point now. Team's starting to push through on both sides of the C point. So hopefully that's going to be enough pressure to start to overwhelm them. Although there is still quite a bit of stuff on the point. They are probably going to start to get 
reinforcements from behind because as you kill them inside the sea point of course they all end up respawning basically at their own supply point immediately behind you so it can be a little bit of a tough one nice starting to get a bit of the cap on and then it's going to be the push for the base point from here the enemy paladins coming in i think by this point the enemy team would be better calling it quits they are actually counter-attacking really quite hard but i think yeah we can get the trebs in there it's going to be quite hard for them to recover this one because we've got the amount of stuff just piling in and there go the trebs straight into all their stuff in the doorway that's what makes it difficult for the enemy to recapture sea and there's a sea capture and now they're going to try and retreat back to their base and they're probably going to get chased down as they run let's grab what is left of our houndsman and get on the pursuit yeah just huddling them all down as they run it's hopefully going to be balancing us up on kill numbers at least a bit there ow you shoot me off my horse I'm short bows. I regret putting you too low down on the hero tier list. I should have put you higher up. Um, let's go around the other way. Tends to be a little bit of a better way for ranged units, really, rather than trying to get through that front gateway, because they're normally going to put some sort of pike or death box on um, either side of the... Can't type and talk at the same time. Either time of the gateway. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Um, okay, a bit of stuff up here. I've actually got a few guys up there, though, so let's pull the... Pull the arches up. Fire a few shots in. Might as well. Uh, not exactly doing a great deal of damage, but every little helps. No kills, unfortunately. Yeah, a little bit out of range here at the back. Um, are they going to start building cannons? They are, aren't they? Oh, I don't want you to do that. It's going to make my life more difficult. Okay, let's hide around this corner. Rather well, have a little bit of a cannon jewel. The archers aren't strong enough to sort of get away with that sort of thing. Ow. The caltrops. Oh, uh, jewel blade has gone in. Can we assist? No. We completely missed. Ah, pikes. <laughs> and, and about turn. Uh, yeah, there's a few bit of stuff down that corridor. Um, looks like we're actually making a bit of a push through the gateway. Kind of tempted to just try and flank around from here rather than going all the way. The the archers there. Oh, that was a bit of a silly move. Come on, archers, run quickly. Try and get past all the enemy ranged. Um, yeah, that probably wasn't such a good move. I should have just gone round, but I was too lazy. Um, okay, looks like we're starting to pressure the final point then. We can get in, get a few kills on those um, palace guards on the point, and we'll just leave our archers to pop away at the back. We haven't exactly done a great deal this game, have we? But that actually wasn't really the point of the video. It's more of a more of a catch-up chat, really, was the aim. There we go, another little hero kill. Not too bad. And we should hopefully get the cap here in a minute. Looks like we've pretty much got our team pretty firmly on the point now. Ooh, we've got some Iron Reapers at the back. So tanky. Iron Reapers really starting to come into their own a lot more recently. Seeing a lot more of them on the battlefield than we ever have before. Um, which is kind of nice. Iron Reapers have had a fairly tough life apart from right at the start of the game. And really have been neglected for a long time. So it's kind of nice to have them a little bit better. But anyway, there we go. At least we got a win. Uh, we got a few decent kills there, but not doing all that much. 91 unit kills total. But the main thing is, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Yeah, as I said at the start though, lots more stuff on the way. Um, sorry if I've been slightly neglecting some of you in the comments, but as I say, been away for the past two weeks, so not really had much opportunity to respond. But anyway, back to normal schedule now. Thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you all on the next video.